do 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 Trust me, I'm an engineer, or architects, or Oh, sorry about that, sorry. Just sing along to my favourite line of the million subs special. <laughs> oh, poor architects. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Infraspace. In the comments last time, I've been told I did some maths wrong. So, let's get in and see what happened. All right, here we go, we're back in. Oh, God, there's all the traffic. We're going to have to come and fix that. But if we head over here, do you remember these four buildings? The neural processor factories. I said they needed all of these buildings behind them. All of those white ones, all of those blue ones, all of these green and red ones, all of the mines back there, all of that just to power four neural processors. Well, my comment section reckons I did some maths wrong there. I forgot to carry the two or something because everyone I click on has this outgoing storage completely full. So yes, I've massively cocked up somewhere. So let's just work out. This makes two nanotubes every 50 seconds. So if we double that, we can say four nanotubes in 100 seconds and these need three. It should just be one and one. Every one of these white nanotube factories I could have a neural processor factory. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is why in real engineering, you always have someone check your work. Uh, but we have a more pressing issue at hand. There's a lot of red warnings over here. There's habitats downgrading. And if we zoom in, you can see why traffic for days. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at all this. Me Look at the red traffic over here. Oh, no. <laughs> This whole thing is just traffic all the way up. I'm guessing it's something to do with the traffic lights we put in. Oh, the light's gone green. Oh, they're trying to get into the right lane. Oh, that is messy. That is really messy. Okay, I'll tell you what. If we change this to nothing, does that get things moving a bit quicker? It sort of does. The good thing about this game is, well, basically, there's never any accidents. So generally, we only use traffic lights in the real world because people are incapable of driving a junction without crashing into each other. So I think if we change these to just not be traffic lights for now, we should start to see all of this traffic ease up. All right, so I think we got rid of all the traffic lights now. Hopefully that traffic will clear up a bit. And hopefully some of these will start upgrading rather than downgrading. I mean, the oxygen, it can literally come from over there. I don't know, I don't know why they're not getting any. Are you oxygen? No, you're green. Why are you green? I think it's coming from like these ones which means they have to go all the way around. Oh, that's annoying. Would it be worth putting a junction in? I did get rid of those two junctions. You can see like they're just stubby end of roads. I did that because it was causing havoc on there. I tell you what, what I might do, I could come off here and we could come around here into there without destroying all the buildings. Oh God, there we go. We've got a bit of a flyover now, but hopefully that should mean some of the traffic from these oxygen plants, they won't try and go onto this main road. I think that would be the key. Although look, <laughs> It was like, Matt, you've crushed us. We gotta be. <laughs> it's got no headroom and there's sand on the road. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can either. <gasps> We've unlocked super highways. That could change everything. I mean, it probably won't, but it could. All right, there we go. You've got your headroom back, guys. You can get through there easily. Nice. So let's say hooray to that. Have a look in our new road tab where we've unlocked the tier four road. <gasps> the super highway. I've dreamed about this day for a long time. What do we need to build it? We need concrete and steel. Steel. Oh, we're not making much steel at the moment. Oh, man, there is so much traffic. What is going on here? I'm not sure. It seems to be easing up, though, I think. It's just every so often things get clogged. I definitely do need traffic lights, so we will work on that at some point. But there's people upgrading rather than downgrading. I think we've sort of fixed the problem. Anyway, let's go build our nano, whatever they're called, neural processors. Right, so this is our neural process factory. It takes, oh, man, that costs quite a lot. 150 blooming steel. I need to make more steel at some point. But if we shove a couple of these down, we should find we start making them nice and quickly. They're complaining about nanotubes. Nanotubes are on the way, don't worry. Yeah, we've got loads. Of I did the math so bad on this. So we're going to move this road out. And then we should be able to build along that edge fine. And along that edge. Yes, nice. So we got quite a few of those built now. And you should see, if you look down the alleyway, yep, yeah, loads of trucks are coming with the resources they need. Because they've all just been waiting. And why do we need neural processor do you ask? Well, we need it for a lot of late game stuff, but in particular, can you see these? These are the research centers, the yellow research. And if we go into our research bar, you see everything we're researching now requires at least yellow science. So at the moment we're on the uranium mining that requires 40 of the blue, green, and yellow science. But look, if we scroll this way, we're going to need some red and we unlock red science up there for 350 
sciences once we've got all the previous ones unlocked still so much to do right anyway how is our upgrading going so at the moment most of them are tier four this sort of biggish building with a big old number four printed on the side and they take these five things in order to keep that level thankfully you can see all the bars on those are pretty full this bloke is definitely pleased with that why are we still here but in order to get the next level, we need a good meal, a home robot, and culture. We are providing all of those, except for the home robot. And I think that's where we left off last time. So that's what we were building all these extra neural processors for. Because as you can see here, in order to build a home robot factory, we need two electronics, which are the green ones, one red motor, one neural processor, and some aluminium. And our supply chain up here has everything except for aluminium, I think. And so basically, I was going to plonk the home robot factories along here with the blues in the middle. So what I might do, I might move move some of these over to like there-ish. Cost steel and concrete to move them? Well, that's not ideal, right? So I think the trouble is my steel, I haven't said export to anywhere. So I need to do like that sort of thing. Does that mean it gets exported? Yes. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why, because all these were like full and yet they're meant to be storing them in these storehouses so I can use them anywhere on the map. But now they're all going in there. You can see our steel is going up, which means we can perhaps build a home robot factory or two and then all we need to do is get some aluminium onto this line and i know up here there is aluminium what is the mining situation now going storage full so they got loads of capacity so all we need to do really we could come off our huge bridge here which i'm a massive fan of and come off there down to here along there and if we just connect into that and they can just go along there yeah i think that should be good there's some aluminium in that truck is it going to come along our new road we want it to come down here psych oh right in which case we might need to do the old district thing yes i think we do do need to if we paint this district to so the aluminium is its own district we can say aluminium or just export to here all right this place is asking for aluminium now you see it's got everything else it needs in storage we just need aluminium and i think they're in these white trucks yes currently being delivered 28 nice so whatever we did we fixed it so that will start producing home robots oh the roofs are moving You've got weird flaps on the top and as that produces home robots they should come out come along this road all the way along here onto the train station where they'll board a train they'll loop around all of this traffic many many times in a helix before ending up over here somewhere yep yeah, this station here where they can get into the houses and oh what the hell what are all these pink <gasps> you know what they are g wagon 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 there's so many g wagons i'm sure this was your first sight of the colony you'd be like bloody hell an engineer definitely built this i don't know where these guys are going i assume they're going to a upgraded one because oh oh it looks like all of our residential buildings are level four. So that is great. That means we've got loads of people, which means we've got more jobs, which means we can make more resources. And the circle of life begins. And once all these G-Wagons get to where they want to go, that every single one is a new job. So first off, can we make these junctions a little bit tidier? To be honest, I don't really want anyone coming down here. So I'm sort of thinking if we delete that and that, it's going to make traffic go a little bit mental. But if we head over both of those and then back down, then if we wanted to connect onto those roads, we could do a little arm off. So let's do that. Oh man, the game really really takes a while to think these days. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Game. <laughs> what is it done there? Right, and somehow I have created another carnado. I tell you what, with that many G-Wagons going in, it's a G-Wagonado. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, so whilst those cars <laughs> fly around there, uh, any that wants to go down to those can just take the shortcut. And what I might do, I might put another junction in, like from there down to that. If we move these back a bit, <laughs> I'm trying to do the traffic management, but I can't see what's going on with those lanes. Right, never mind. Never mind. I'll do the traffic management there. So right lane, everyone goes right. Left lane, you can go into any any lane you want. And then over here, we got the same again. And then we come to our first junction. Now, the question is, what do we do here? We could, rather than traffic lights, we could put giveaways in. So this keeps the main traffic going pretty well. And then when no one's coming, people just give way on these side roads. It means you got to trust people, which isn't ideal. But it's it seems to be working for the traffic flows, although this one's getting quite 
busy. So as there's like quite long spurts with no people on, let's try the traffic lights. So we got a few phases. So basically when this one goes green, which is phase three, we basically just want every turn to happen. Oh really game, I can't split those up. Okay, that's, that's annoying. I would want a straight ahead one, but not a left. I guess that's the thing with having only three traffic lights. You can't like each lane, you can't say this one can go straight ahead, but you can't go left. So therefore it doesn't really make any sense to have that in if we get rid of that so now when this goes green i don't want the left to go but i do want the straight ahead and the right to go and then whilst that's happening i also want from the opposite direction so over here i want these guys to go right so that can be green and to be honest there's sort of too many lanes because they're all going to merge into one but sod it so ideally with traffic lights you want a lane for every direction you're going to go we can't really do that we don't have the space anymore all right so let's just check phase zero all of those ones, yep. Phase one, out of there, and they can go right, yep. Phase two, straight ahead, right, they can go right. And then phase three, we need that one to go left, and that one to go right. So let's keep that like that for now. We'll fast forward and we'll see, will traffic here be any better? I'm worried 10 seconds might be too long. But yeah, this is backing up massively. So phase three can literally be like two seconds because that's the least amount of traffic going out. Right, annoyingly, it seems like people aren't getting in their lane early enough. Can you see these are all in that lane? So you'd think they're all be going that way. But last second, they switch into like another lane. Right, here we go. I managed to get the traffic to go in all three lanes now but as usual there's someone at the front that doesn't want to go right idiot <laughs> no they're all changing late last minute what are you guys doing <laughs> you're cocking it all up guys look at the traffic look at the purple traffic all right so what if we just get rid of everything and even better than that what if we literally make everyone go wherever they want the world is your oyster this is gonna be an absolute mess but perhaps it's what the people of this colony need choice. All right, that looks disgusting. <laughs> but I think it's working. The traffic behind has definitely slowed down a lot. When I say slowed down, I mean that in the good sense of the word. All right, anyway, you can see we have a load of steel now. So let's carry on building what we were building earlier. So normal processors. Thankfully, the devs have added this so we can build loads in a row. Oh, that's so handy. I love that. Ooh, look, we've got uranium mining unlocked. Nice. But that's a load of blueies coming. So down here, let's put some home robots. Hope Hopefully, that will mean we'll start to upgrade some of these. <gasps> We've got our first one upgraded. Look how tall it is. So yeah, that's got every resource needed to be a level five. Oh, it's a residential high rise. It's so tall. Look at the view out the window. It's beautiful. Anyway, with all these home robots, we should get a load more high rises, which means each of our buildings can hold more people. They can now hold 60. 16? <laughs> that's like a 10, 15 story building. Considering these little ones can hold 14, all that extra space can only hold two more people. He's like nodding at me. He's agreeing. You're not meant to agree. <laughs> it's a disgrace. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I wanted to test with my new steel, I want to see how fast the roads are. So if we were to upgrade one of these roads to the super mega highway upgrade, oh, it looks pretty similar. So here we go then. On the right is our previous fastest road. Holy poo, look how fast they're going. So the one on the back was our fastest road before. Look at this one on the front. It's blurry it's so fast. Oh man, it's as fast as my camera. Oh my god, the train line is covered in dirt. <laughs> anyway, here comes a train. Is that gonna be faster than the super highway? Super highway is way faster. Look at them purples going. This is cool. Can the trains get back though? Yeah, right. Here's one coming back the other direction. Can you get through all this sand? Now we've built that road. It's just driving straight through. Oh, that's so close to the road. Although it is actually under the road. Interesting. But cool. Okay, those roads game changer. They're so quick. Maybe I should upgrade some more of my roads. Maybe. Particularly these. Oh man, these are so slow. Look at them. That is not good. And also what's not good, these need motors and the motors over here, they need steel. Why aren't they getting steel? Let's head over to our steel area. Incoming storage empty. Ah, so they're not getting enough iron. Outgoing storage full. Do I need to do some of this stuff? You go over to there. I'm not sure that's helped a lot. There might be a few more leaving. So anyway, let's check out our new unlocks. So we've got a uranium mine and a large one, of course. And then we've got this, a radiation core factory. So that needs, it looks like, are they like 
Uranium rods? What is that purple stuff? Oh, it's the Iridium Alloy Factory. We haven't unlocked that yet. So we need one of those. And that takes purple, which I'm going to guess is Iridium. Is there like a purple resource about? That's Uranium. Some purple up here. Iridium, yes. Okay, we're going to need to mine those for like some end game stuff. But for now, we've got to try and tweak some of these. Now, the trouble is our nanotubes factories, they can't get to these buildings. So if I just put a little link road in. So we've connected that in. Hopefully, some greys will go along there. Yeah, they are flying. <laughs> Look how fast it is. How are people not coming off this corner? They're like in F1 hover trucks. Like, no. <laughs> But uh, that should prevent all these wanting the grey stuff. So those warning lights should go out. Over here, we've got to get more steel up to there. Now, the only way steel makes it over to there is via the very efficient train line. It doesn't seem to be working. None of the steel's making it past the storages. And we've got so much steel. All right, I'm not sure I trust the train lines. I might build a new super highway. Not just because I really want to build a super highway. <laughs> So what we'll do, we'll come off over here. We'll head along here. This is going to cost a lot of concrete and steel. Going to be worth it though, I can tell. So we'll basically just run parallel with this helix thing over to there. Now the question is, will any steel trucks go up it? Not going to lie, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. <laughs> All right, it's not working. I might need... Oh, yes it is. Who's that? No, he's delivering sand. I don't want you to deliver sand. <laughs> All right, here we go. When the trucks come out, they should look over and see that lovely sign now. And they'll know what to do. Go that way. <laughs> right then, the only way I can think to do this, I'm banning that road. You can only go that way now. Yes, they're finally doing it. They are so fast. So on their journey, hopefully they will start going down. Oh, look at everything upgrading over there. Shall we go have a look? Oh my goodness. Look at all of these upgrading. That is a loss of residential area. It's so tall. It's taller than the stadium. All right, anyway, the steel delivery is in. I think they're heading over. Oh no, I connected them onto the wrong road. So they're meant to go down there onto that one. That's probably why they weren't delivering. All right, what if I put that back in? Will some steel still go that way? Well, they all seem to be going that way. Okay, well, perhaps I fixed it. Perhaps. Yes, you can see most of the trumpet chimneys are now chirping away in a happy manner. But oh my goodness, look at all that steel coming this way. That's a lot of steel. Well, now you guys cannot complain. You don't have enough steel. That guy's still complaining, even though there's loads going in. <gasps> Our city just reached level five. Hooray! Where are the city levels? I've forgotten. So because we had a certain number of level 5 citizens, and they're the ones living in the level 5 accommodation, so these new skyscrapers we've built. This is what it was like before, just like piddly little city. This is like big boy city, engineer city. To level up again, we need level 6 citizens. Oh my, what do we need for that? We need VR edutainment and a school. So yep, school are up there. That needs 200 science. That could take a while. We're currently researching nuclear power. We got 14 out of 80 on that. And what do we need for VR edutainment? There it is, VR edutainment. Oh, we don't need anything new. We can literally build them already. That's quite cool. We just need to unlock it. How do we unlock it? By researching hollow displays, I see. And we need to do iridium mining first. Oh man. There's so much to unlock in this game, it is mental. Power Network 1 just keeps expanding as well. I assume that these level 5 ones, do they take more power or something? We are running out of space, but I have a very clever space-saving solution coming up. I'm pretty sure we could put solar plants in the middle of these. If we were to do that sort of thing, how's Network 1 looking now? Ah, oh, loads of power. Loads of power. Oh no, everyone's complaining. Everyone's complaining about what? I need a good meal. All right, what's going on, farm? Why aren't you producing good meals? I think they are. Are we just waiting on trains? Where have the trains got to? <laughs> Where are they in this mess? That one at the front, completely full. And about to pull into the station. I assume he is full of good food. So if we watch this side, are loads of green trucks going to come out? Yes, there they are. There's the food that everyone's craving. Oh, it's too late though. Some are downgrading. <laughs> Everything we worked for. Okay, what we might have to do, train line the scenic route. We might have to add like 10 more trains. Sod it, we'll go up to 50 trains. Because we obviously were making enough. They just can't get there quick enough. There's a like good food famine going on. People are stuck eating Insta noodles and they're not happy. Can you imagine like downsizing your house in protest that you weren't happy? <laughs> <laughs> that is what's happening here. All right, anyway, lots of carnage everywhere. We might just need this to sort itself out a little bit. Maybe upgrade some roads so things move quicker. This city is growing at an exponential rate. Well, ignore the habitat downgrading. Let, let's not look that way. Let's look this way. Th look, look, city. It's so good. It's really good. 
<laughs> but yeah, for now, I'll say peace, love, and deliver steel. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.